Today is the day of banana potato challenge day, I think it's 31, 31 2nd of January and I've been just in a swim, still feeling a bit chilly after the swim, but we are making banana, not banana, we are making cashew nut gravy for our lovely lunch. You know, nice potatoes with cashew nut gravy. So it's a lovely, lovely gravy. I've mentioned in the past, it's very tasty, very nutritious, very nourishing. So let's start. So the basis of the cashew nut gravy is the vegetable broth or vegetable stock. So what do you use for that? So I've prepared some items. So uh, this is some uh, cauliflower greens, you know, basically you use any vegetable sort of off cuts you normally don't use for maybe your vegetables, uh, meals and dishes. So uh, we have a pressure cooker to make things quicker. So I put the cauliflower greens in pressure cooker. And the next thing I've got some, I think that's uh, celery, some old celery, which it's still okay, but you know, just to use those things up. And then cabbage, cabbage is a good thing, cabbage gives a very nice taste, you have all kinds of them, not, not expensive, so lovely cabbage. Then I've got some pumpkin to give some nice sweetness, or more carrots if you don't have a pumpkin, so that's the Pumpkin, okay, actually hurt maybe a bit too much, and then some, some carrots, or maybe three carrots, uh, some bay leaves, and I'll, do, I'll put a few potatoes, just a few potatoes, lovely potatoes for lovely taste. So, so yeah, so that all goes inside this pressure cooker. So now I'll fill it up with a hot water. Okay, so I filled up the pot with full with water. I mean it's a bit too much inside but it's okay. And then we'll add some, also some allspice or uh, aromatic pepper, different languages you call. Uh, sort of nice, uh, like a long side, so we'll put that one inside, and then the lid on, pressure cooker lid on, okay. and here we go, we put it on the cooker, full gas on, so, so while the stock is being cooked, the next step for the cashew nut gravy is the cashew nuts. So we take the cashew nuts and we have to roast them a little bit in the oven. So normally the recipe is one cup of cashew nuts. I'm making double the amount, so I'll have two cups of cashew nuts. Okay. Two cups of cashew nuts, and so these we will put inside the oven. We will put inside the oven. So I put it inside the oven, maybe for 15 minutes on 180, to make sure they are nice and sort of golden brown. So. So that's in the process, and the stock is going to cook uh, maybe five, eight whistles. So the next step for the cashew nut gravy is actually the, the, the broth. So we need to wait while that get, gets ready, and the cashew nuts, and the, the next step I'll show you afterwards, okay? Okay, so I've got the cashew nuts just roasted, maybe a little bit too much, too golden brown, but it's fine. So we'll put these aside to cool them down and then we'll grind them afterwards to add into the stock and once uh, the next step I'll show you again. Okay, if the, the stock is 
It's the first ritual, yeah? That's, that's a good sign. So we need a few more rituals like that for it to be ready. So now while uh, the stock is still being cooking, uh, we can grind the roasted cashew nuts. Okay, so the next step, we've got the broth ready, now we have to sieve it, so we need to get just the liquid and so the vegetables which have been cooked, they, we, we won't need them anymore, so I use a nice big sieve and we transfer all the vegetables with the liquid into the sieve and I use a pot to press down just to get the liquid. Okay, so now the most important step is to combine all the ingredients before blending and heating up this, the gravy. So I measured, so I, I, I'm making twice the amount of the recipe, so I measured in this big pot 12 cups of stock so there is inside 12 cups of vegetable stock so the next thing we are adding is 2 teaspoons of ginger powder ok, 2 teaspoons of ginger powder then we are adding 2 teaspoons of paprika Okay. Then some pinch of hing or asafoetida. Then we are adding one of the main ingredients is the chickpea flour, the one which will thicken the gravy. So the chickpea flour or basin flour or gram flour. So that comes uh, four tablespoons per one time, but we are making double the recipe, so it will be eight tablespoons. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so that's another thing, and then the next one is tamari sauce, which we put four tablespoons of tamari sauce okay and then for enhanced flavor and taste I, I like to add yeast flakes, nutritional yeast flakes so I'll put three tablespoons of yeast flakes and of course now we need to add some salt to taste, but I don't add too much at the beginning, you taste it afterwards, so I put some rock salt, let's say one, two teaspoons rock salt, and then I like the black salt, which is called Kalanamak, you can get it in Indian shops mainly, it's not Himalayan pink salt, it's black salt, although it looks pink, but actually the rock itself is black before grinding so it gives very nice taste so so i put this maybe another two teaspoons okay and so the next step we need to blend it all and then on low gas to bring it to the boil by stirring so that it doesn't burn okay Sorry, I forgot the main ingredient, the cashew nuts. Cuckoo! <laughs> I didn't blend them inside. So I need to add those 
into the pot and a bit more of blending for a few minutes sorry okay 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 so I remember to put what was the last ingredient and so now what we are doing we are basically stirring slowly and bringing the cashew nut to the boil so when it starts uh, coming to the boil the chickpea flour will thicken the gravy and it will be the best ever gravy you can get and I'm steaming some nice new season Italian potatoes so to have those with this gravy you are done there is nothing else in the world you need okay the gravy is nearly ready it's coming to the boil you know the best ever gravy in the world have a look lovely doubly lovely doubly no oil no fats no dairy just pure plant goodness you see lovely beautiful beautiful such such a beauty and with those potatoes you are done it's the bliss bliss of the world okay okay guys I hope you enjoyed the cashew nut gravy thumbs up and another recipe another day I've got another cheeseless cheese sauce which is smashingly good another one without fat and days so let's go ahead plant-based plant strong swimming running yes okay all the best take care have a good year bye